Hello and welcome back to Subsistence. Okay, um, I realised I've got a few alloy sheets and I've just gone ahead and upgraded this row of sheets here. Uh, I think that's looking pretty nice now. And off camera I actually added in another storage chest for all of the building materials that we've got. We've got three full stacks of 100 nails, a full row of um, cordage, a few planks um, and I'm keeping the hammer in there for the moment now. I have been hearing a little bit of hunter um, animal action going on. haven't caught any of it on camera unfortunately uh, but definitely uh, there's been some uh, some business kicking off over in the hunter camp. Uh, just going to drop this fuel brick in here and we will head out on a lovely loot run. We are weaponed up. Um, we'll go ahead and eat an apple and I think we'll grab a... S hmm, I hate that when that happens. We'll go ahead and grab a steak for something to eat. Uh, we've got protein bars on us, so I'm not too worried about having to take anything with us. So there's definitely been some aggro going on. I accidentally bandaged myself when I pressed the wrong key earlier, so... <laughs> um, yeah, we'll just put the bow on there. I'm not really using the bow just recently with all the food that we've got. I don't think we need to take any other ammo out than what we already have. Okay. What I will do is just have a little look and see if we can see any hunters wandering around. Yeah, one's there. Just in case the animals have managed to take out one or two of them. Base is looking lovely. Oops. Let's try and get the keys and my fingers working correctly. Yeah, there's a little bit. I was wondering if there was any damage to the well shed. And there is a little bit. Nothing substantial. That is a bit of a bad spot really. That's the only thing about building on the um, on the cliff where I've built. It's uh, susceptible to um, damage because I don't have anywhere safe to put my well and the um, animal housing. So I hope you're having a good week. Um, Recording this one on Monday to be uploaded on Tuesday. Managed to record my seven days to die horde yesterday. Um, the day 14 horde. It was fantastic. Really enjoyed it. Um, made it through without a scratch. Spoiler alert. The uh, concrete bunker really held up quite well, but uh, long term, I, I say in the video, I, I can't, um, I can't use that sort of design long term, as uh, cops exploding next to me would actually <laughs> injure me quite badly in that bunker. I think because you're right on top of the action, but it was really good. I really enjoyed it. It's going to creep here because sometimes they come out quite far. Or at least it sounds like they do. I'm not so sure if that's uh, actually what happens. Oh, nice loot crate here. There is There are some ores on those rocks, but I don't really want to get too close to those hunters. I don't want to antagonize them but I can't hear any building noises so maybe we'll be okay. It's a bit cheeky. I think I'm a little bit too close to them but 
we can defend ourselves if they do decide to get annoyed. It's usually when you can hear the um, the wood chopping that you're in their territory and you need to be concerned. And I can't hear that right now, so maybe we were okay there. Alright. System scrap. It's a little bit weird playing it now um, because we're going to be restarting so soon. Because I think this is episode 97, so we're only we're only going to go to 100 in this season. Um, although I'm not deleting the world, I've said before I'm going to keep it for relaxing. You know, when I just want to play off camera, <laughs> I'll play on my uh, on this profile. And just in, enjoy the game for what it is rather than having to worry about uh, recording everything but um, it's weird I mean what do you do I mean I'm gonna carry on looking for loose I'm not really building anything new I suppose I could use this as my kind of design profile maybe I know a lot of people do that, um, gather a lot of materials and then go out and just build different design bunkers and stuff. So that's something I could do. You could probably let me know in the comments if that's something that you do. Almost like a kind of creative mode but with having put the, uh, the effort in. <laughs> to put the grind in to get all the materials. Can we uh, get that, do we think, without annoying that wolf? Yeah, he's wandering off that way. We'll be okay. I'll just scoot round the back of these rocks. I'm not sure I've ever been down behind these rocks. Mm, probably, but I don't feel familiar from this side. Sometimes I wish the, um, there would be more than sort of two fixed hunter bases um, in easy mode, I think. Maybe it should be more staggered, so you get two hunter bases in easy mode within the first hundred days, but after the 100th day or something it turns, it turns the third base on or something like that. That could be a... Could be something interesting but I suppose by the time you've been through a hundred days you're probably considering restarting the game on normal mode anyway. Not sure if you can hear gardening in the background, um, someone out there cutting, uh, cutting the lawn. That time of year, plenty of things to be done. So this is the little foresty area, I think. These little bowls and dips and things are fairly difficult to navigate with the animals in the harder modes, I imagine. Just like that, you run into a bear <laughs> that you didn't know was there. I'm thinking of going over to the Twin Rocks today, so we'll see how we're doing for daylight. Where's home? That way. Oh yeah, we're fine. Okay. I think it's just that way, I think. But we'll grab this uh, crate while we're over this direction. I can hear a chicken. quite an interesting spot for a build, wouldn't you think? There's quite a hollow there. There are bears and things around though. But just here, 
You've got a bit of high ground. There's a tree though. Hmm, okay. Right, where are the twin rocks then? Am I completely and utterly turned around again? There's got to be the fence up here. Yeah, this is the fence. Okay. Ah, oh, they're that way. Yes. They're over on that side of the map, I think. In fact, they might be behind me for all I know. No, I think they're this way. Good, good. Let's see what how far away they look like they are. Hopefully we'll have a view shortly. Have I misjudged this? Oh my god, I probably have, you know. Can't see them that way unless that's them there. No, that's just a general rock, isn't it? Hmm. It's amazing. I head sort of in a, a direction that I think I'm familiar with and then this happens and I'm completely and utterly turned around. They're probably further down in that direction and I'm just missing them. These trees are lovely though. I'm just getting a message in the background. <laughs> Sorry about that. That little beep beep. There they are, twin rocks. Just through the trees there. Excellent, so only very slightly lost. I don't think I made a um another lock pick, no I didn't. Mm, that's a shame. This is quite a clear um landmark. I can hear a bear. I can see him over there. Look at him walking up the... What's he doing? Mr. Bear? Oh God. Carry on about your business. Nothing to see here. I wasn't laughing at you. That's the trouble I think with building in this area. Um, it's purely the, just the number of... Oh. Purely the number of animals, bears especially. Where I, where I am, where I have already built, I only seem to get um, wolves to be honest. I don't seem to get many bears down in the area but it is possible to, uh, to get bears that far out. Oh, look at all these. Nice. Okay, crouch. Hopefully uh, there isn't going to be a, a bear behind me any second. Can't hear anything. I haven't seen rogues around for a while actually. I wonder where they are. This is the thing about rogues, they can be absolutely anywhere. And there was a bear around here a little while ago, so I'm not sure where he's gone either. And this is a bit strange, as I say, I've got to this point in my game where, uh, you know, I don't need any of these materials that I'm going around and scavenging. Um, it'd be kind of nice if there was something later, later game stage that encouraged you to keep building or, you know, when the hunters come to raid, they actually manage to destroy your base or... 
you know, there was a reason to sort of up sticks and rebuild somewhere else. Just to encourage you to just continue on with the game. I don't know what a good uh, a good method would be, but I think it could. Uh, that's something that could be looked into. I love these coppery coloured trees. I think they're so lovely. Not very good visibility here. This is a pretty nice area though. Nice area for a picnic. That's a nice rock in front I've never seen with the sort of the hollow almost. I don't think I've seen it before. There is an ore on top of there as well. I think it's potassium though and I'm not really... Not really. No, it's iron. I was going to say I'm not really in need of potassium in any way. Gunpowder is something I'm really not having difficulty finding. In fact, iron was what I was short of. Uh, and we've just we've just found 36 within the space of uh, 15 minutes. So you just got to get out there and loot. Often. Loot often and loot as long as you can every day. And you'll soon end up with more materials than you'll know what to do with. Oh. Okay. And we've got a crate here. Yeah, episode 97. <laughs> Where has the time gone? Trying to decide what to do in seven days to die. I've just, as I say, just had the day 14 hoard and it went really well. No problem at all. Need to think about whether to carry on building in Alpha 15 or bite the uh, bite the bullet and install Alpha 16 experimental and start a playthrough. But you know that's probably going to need a restart at some point and it seems a shame to sort of get really into into creating a build you know putting in all that time and effort scavenging for supplies and and then have to restart at a certain point which you know is probably going to happen so I'm not sure I mean I've got my my small base quite well established now um, going forward as I say if I want to survive some of the later hordes it's not going to cut it so I need to uh, do something about making that a little bit bigger to give me a bit more room to manoeuvre but uh, it's going to come a point where I'm going to have to stop and consider the fact that that season's going to be cut short prematurely. So how much time do I really want to put into <laughs> how much time and effort do I really want to put into it if I'm going to restart for Alpha 16, you know? Probably should shouldn't think about it too much and just carry on. Just carry on playing as long as I'm enjoying it and wait wait and see what happens with uh, 16. I can't imagine they would have released it as experimental unless they were pretty happy with it, so... But I don't want it to be a laggy mess. A laggy mess on my machine, so... I love this map. This is such a lovely place to run around. I've said it before, I find it really relaxing. 
it's a nice grind, if you know what I mean. It's uh, not at all unpleasant. Chicken. There's not a lot of materials around here. It's a bit of a shame, really. A lot of the loot drops seem to be more towards the centre of the map. Oh, we've run out of stamina. Wow, I wasn't watching. Uh, let's eat both of those apples. Let's split and split again. And we'll eat. Let's split again. We'll eat two, see how we get on. Probably going to need four. And we'll drink a berry water. Wow, it was the water that was really uh, bringing the stamina down. That's quite interesting. Keep all of the ammo and stuff together. Got another bandage. Uh, more nails. Put those um, berries there. That should be about right for the uh, for the loot. When we get back, I should really organise that. I wonder if it's worth having a little sort function available on the crate there. Oh, look at these trees! Gorgeous. So this is where Game Edge is uh, set up, as we spoke about last episode. I uh, wonder how many other players have come and created a base under here. It does seem like a nice spot. But it's dark. Oh, there's some ores on the, on the, on the shelves, on the uh, walls. Probably uh, another message, I think. Sorry about that. Need to um, turn the sound off on those when they're popping. I haven't seen a sign of the um, of the rogues at all. I wonder where they are. And we've been pretty much well across a lot of the map anyway. I mean, I know it's not the whole thing. But where are they? Mm. Oh, there's a potassium. I'm loath to take that because we've just got so much of it. Un, um, refined actually. We'll grab you though. <laughs> no more or let's have a look. Anything that way? So we went that way in the first uh, part of the day. It's all very quiet, it's all quite eerie. Yeah, all very eerie indeed. Do another little loop round this uh, this area down here. I saw a loot crate somewhere in this direction, I think. Might have gone by now, of course. I saw 
uh, an ammo crate. I can see a couple of ores on this rock. Oops, is that iron? I think that might be iron. Yes. I'll leave the potassium though. I would like to see, um, instead of some of these rocks, um, I'd like to see sort of a mine entrance um, and you need to sort of stand in in front of that and sort of um, mine a wall and then there's like a random chance of getting a certain min minerals out rather than, you know, you're going off and looking for something and picking and choosing what you get. Maybe, you know, there's a random chance you can get copper that day at that entrance or a random chance on iron. Um, you know, in a, a sort of a, a limit to how much you can actually extract on one day. So, and the good thing about something like that, because they'd be fixed spots on the map, um, it would be quite dangerous it would be a good spot for somebody put somebody to put their camp uh, to limit you being able to access that area um, so if the hunters were right next door to one of the mines you wouldn't be able to visit there very often rather than there being so many other places around the map you know just random boulders that you've got a chance of finding these ores Um, and I'd also like to see water in the same way, you know, there's only a couple of water sources on the map, um, you know, and you've got a risk going over there to fill up a canteen. So I think a couple of uh, ore mines and a couple of water sources, get rid of all of that sort of stuff out of the crates. And then all you'd have left in the crates is perhaps like the ammo and you can already collect blueberries, you can already get feathers off chickens, maybe the only thing is how would you early game be able to craft a bow and use it? Maybe you're given a lock pick and one lock crate or something early when you start you know maybe it's sort of predetermined in the game that you get a lock pick and you find a lock crate and that gives you your first bow and some arrows to get you started something like that maybe I'm not really sure I just wondered what I'd do if it was my uh, my game just to try and work out how I'd play it um, right Let's eat the apple we have. Uh, that's nearly topped us up actually. That's pretty good. We will eat one berry. We've still got all these protein bars. Should we split? I was going to say let's take ten out of there. They only stack to 40. That's strange isn't it? We've got a fuel brick. Uh, we'll put the nails away circuit boards and the scrap, fibre, water. We can put that away. We've got six water. Everything else goes in the other chest, I think. Uh, we'll drop the fuel brick in. We'll take the ash, no fat to render. Can we afford to make any more 44 rounds? We can do two. Feathers, um, extra ammo, that goes upstairs with the seeds, that's a spare bandage, all good stuff. So we managed to find quite a bit of iron for a change and some, some copper as well. So I think we can afford to just get some of that refining, I mean we've got plenty of power. What I might do is just top off the generator because I think we used some fuel recently. 
So under the stairs, we've got nothing to put away in there. Look at all those nails. Lovely stuff. Let's put the light on, the grow lights. And drop the fertiliser in. Should have brought a water up with us actually. Luckily we have a couple here. Drop both of those in, we may as well. Wow, yeah, we needed both, gosh. So we'll drop the seeds away. We've got a little bit of um, that left. Nice. Any sign of any rogue camps at all? Not that I can see, but again, oh, there we are, it's snowing. No, no sign of any camps. Okay. Good, good, good. Oh, yes, let's put this extra ammo away. And the uh, extra bandage. So we've got all of this SBT ammo. That's incredible, isn't it? Um, shotgun. Fully loaded. We've got plenty of 44 rounds. If only I could take this all over with me to the new profile. But sadly, no. Okay, so that's where I'm going to leave this episode. Thank you so much for being with me on this journey. Um, I have thoroughly enjoyed it. This was episode 97. We'll be restarting after episode 100. So, only another three episodes to go. I'm going to be sad to say goodbye to this lovely building. But until then, take care and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.